that the future of diplomacy is the past. Uh, the success of any diplomat is a deep and thorough understanding of history. I know that technology matters, um, and I, especially these days where this very webinar is a testament to that. Um, I know that skills matter. Diplomats have to be great at public speaking, at negotiation, at making friends, right, left, and center, at socializing. They have to be good at the glitz and the glamour, um, and they also have to be solid and consistent for when the going gets tough. Um, for mediation, for understanding and analyzing conflicts, humanitarian efforts, um, confusion, for confusion. <laughs> they have yeah. to be resilient. Um, they have to adapt quickly to different circumstances and have the strength to take decisions uh, when they have to. So with this exhausting list of requirements, um, and obviously it, it goes on, why do I want to emphasize history in particular? Um, and why for diplomats? Uh, in Oxford, my favorite seminar was titled The World Since 1900. It was a core course on the MPhil and international relations. I thoroughly enjoyed reflecting on the causes of the two world wars, on the course of the Cold War, and particularly applying the Cartesian method to help navigate and analyze these historical events. And perhaps in the very spirit of the Cartesian method, my colleagues and I soon realized the scope and content of the seminar did not reflect its title. A more relevant title would have been the core powers since 1900, or yeah. Europe, US, and a sprinkle of the rest of the world since 1900. It was not a reflection of the actual historical narrative of the world since 1900, and it definitely overlooked this part of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, the history of the Arab world, the Arab Gulf, um, more specifically of Bahrain, uh, because that was my area um, of mm -hmm. focus, is an understudied and underappreciated field. Mm -hmm. um, whether it's in around academic institutions abroad or, or even um, locally. While there are growing initiatives to increase research opportunities on, on the region or studying the region, it remains understudied. So one of the key efforts of a diplomat is to represent his or her uh, country, to convey its messages politically, diplomatically, culturally, and economically. Um, we therefore, as you asked at the beginning, we embark on this journey in the ministry um, and the ministries of foreign affairs to try to find the best candidate for the job. Uh, we try to look for the right mix in terms of ability, in terms of skill, in terms of knowledge, uh, in terms of character. Uh, in Bahrain, uh, similar to the UAE, we conduct a series of examinations to test knowledge, uh, language, skills, and we conduct a series of interviews. Um, they tend to be scary interviews in the, hope, uh, in the hope that the candidate's character will show. We then try to enable the diplomat with the tools and skills to represent his or her country.